So hello everyone, welcome back to the Coder Art. In this project video series, we are going to create a new application which is known as the stopwatch. So for those who don't know what is the stopwatch, we have to use it in our uh, uh, in our uh, online web browser. So it is online stop stopwatch. Okay, so just click on this, and here you can see a uh, stopwatch is going to provided by our. Uh, Google. So just click on here, and here you can see the our the stopwatch is running. So uh, we have to implement this web application to the our Android application. So let's see how we can do it and how we can implement the stopwatch timer in our application. So let's get started. So for this, uh, you have to go through the Android Studio. You have to open the uh, Android Studio and just click on the file. Go to the new and go to the new project. So here you have to select the empty web activity. Once you select it, click on next. Once you uh, click on next, you have to write the name of the stopwatch. Stopwatch, okay. W A T C H. Stopwatch, okay. So we have to uh, give the package name as well, and we have to save it as the uh, location is provided. So we have to select the language according to our convenient. Convenient, and if you are uh, comfortable with Kotlin, and if you are comfortable with Java, you can choose any of the languages. So here is the minimum SDK version that is already I have discussed in the so many videos earlier. So you can select it according to your need, and then after uh, you have to go through the build configuration language. So this is the Kotlin DSL. So just click on finish, and once you click on finish, you will get this type of UI happening in your Android operating Android Studio. <coughs> so let's see. Uh, here we have uh, some code of the Hello World, and here is our main activity. So let's create the uh, UI of the uh, main activity. So here we have to write some code of the main activity so what we have to do we have to write some uh, ui first okay so in this ui we have to add some uh, stopwatch okay so in this ui we have to ha uh, do some changes so first of all we have to convert this in the constraint layout to the linear layout okay in this linear layout we have to remove use this text view and give a id to it uh, which is ID TV sorry at the rate ID TV main title okay T A T L E title okay and uh, then after we have to add some text here so we have to remove this hello word and we have to add welcome to main activity <coughs> welcome to main screen okay so in this uh, we have to use the text size which is 18 sp we have to remove this constraint for our need and just remove this double quote as well and then we have to use the text size here text size uh, sorry text size which is the 18 sp okay and we also give the layout gravity as well layout gravity which is central horizontal <coughs> central horizontal and also we have to do some uh, gravity and we have to use some orientation as well here orientation which is vertical okay so this is the main screen and uh, after that we have to do some padding as well which is known as the padding bottom is 20 dp okay once the 20 dp is created then after we have to create a one more button to uh, go to the stopwatch screen okay so here we have to add a button here in this button we have to use the wrap content for the width and uh, wrap content for the height and then after we have to provide the id here which is at the rate id and button go to stopwatch stopwatch and then we have to give the layout gravity here as well which is central horizontal and we have to add some text here the text is go to stopwatch screen so we can use to go to stopwatch okay so 
so here we have uh, completed our screen and we also need some uh, like layout gravity is center <coughs> okay and uh, then after we have done with this screen and we can also use some margin from top margin top which is basically approx 50 not 50 we have to use the 100 dp okay and we can also use a margin here as well a margin top which is 100 dp okay so here is our uh, main screen uh, welcome and then after we have a button so that we can move to the stopwatch screen so now what we have to do we have to just close this and <coughs> we have to remove this padding as well okay so everything is done from our end uh, so the main activity ui is get completed so in next video we are going to uh, write the code for the main activity and then after we can use the uh, stopwatch activity so let's get uh, uh, so being with us and continue with us so we will let's meet in the next video thank you thank you so much